the world we live in makes up a minuscule fraction of what's out there. There are plenty of planets and stars that lie beyond our solar system waiting to be found. NASA telescopes are already vastly impressive with how far they can see into space, and yet it seems they've outdone themselves with the development of their new project, the James Webb Telescope. The James Webb Telescope is able to capture crisp, well-focused images, and is an astronomy spectacle. It's a milestone in NASA's technology, and in recent weeks more and more photographs are being published from the James Webb Telescope. Scott Acton, who is the control scientist at Ball Aerospace, stated, These images have profoundly changed the way I see the universe. We are surrounded by a symphony of creation. There are galaxies everywhere. My hope is that everyone in the world can see them. The James Webb Telescope worth 10 billion was first sent into space in December of 2021. It took the telescope almost a month to rocket into deep space. Although some have described these discoveries as terrifying, noting that it's photographs like this that prove we have so much more to learn about our universe, others have said it's an incredible step forward in helping us unravel the wonders of the universe. One of James Webb's most recent discoveries shattered astronomers' preconceptions about the early universe, with them saying that James Webb has detected a wealth of galaxies that appeared a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. J. Hun Katatevi, an astronomer at the Rochester Institute of Technology in New York, said the following, We had in mind an idea of what galaxies at these distances would look like, and how much detail we'd be able to see but I think the reality is just kind of blowing our minds. The galaxy is called Glass Z13, and it's been estimated that the galaxy formed just 300 million years after the Big Bang. Gabriel Brammer, one of the lead scientists who discovered the galaxy, said the following, We're pretty confident that the James Webb Telescope will be able to see distant galaxies, but we're just a little bit surprised how easy it is to detect them. These two objects already place novel constraints on galaxy evolution in the Cosmic Dawn epoch. They indicate that the discovery of GNZ11 was not simply a matter of good fortune, but that there's likely a population of UV luminous sources with very high star formation efficiencies. NASA sent a transmission to the exoplanet WASP-96b, which lies 1,150 light-years away and has been described as a hot Jupiter. The planet, like Jupiter, is a gas giant. Its orbit is extremely close to its star, which causes the planet to bloat. It possesses half of Jupiter's mass and yet is 1.2 times its size and diameter. The planet was named after the Wide Angle Search for Planets project, known as the WASP. The WASP project, located primarily in South Africa and the Canary Islands, has proved successful with over 200 exoplanets discovered since its launch. The transmission sent to WASP-96b highlighted its molecules as it orbits its star. When the light of a star shines over a planet's atmosphere, its molecules block specific wavelengths. Astronomers are then able to determine what chemical components a planet's atmosphere is composed of and this is by using these wavelengths. The James Webb Telescope discovered that WASP-96b's atmosphere appears to absorb water signatures. Furthermore, there is a belief that the planet possesses clouds in a hazy sky. Yet in 2018, the Very Large Telescope in Chile caught a sighting of a strong sodium signature in its atmosphere, which suggests a lack of clouds. Another telescope also captured evidence that supports there are no clouds on WASP-96b. NASA said the following on their website. The James Webb Telescope is an infrared observatory orbiting the Sun, around one million miles from Earth to find the first galaxies that formed in the early universe, and to see stars forming planetary systems. Webb will study every phase in the history of our universe, ranging from the first luminous glows after the Big Bang, to the formation of solar systems capable of supporting life on planets like Earth, to the evolution of our own solar system. 
it will build on the Hubble Space Telescope's discoveries. On January 8th, 2022, the Webb team fully deployed the telescope's 21-foot gold-coated primary mirror, successfully completing the final stage of all major spacecraft deployments to prepare for science operations. Gregory L. Robinson, Webb Program Director at NASA Headquarters, said the following. The successful completion of all the Webb Space Telescope's deployment is historic. This is the first time that a NASA-led mission has ever attempted to complete a complex sequence to unfold an observatory in space. A remarkable feat for our team, NASA and the world. On January 24, 2022, the mission team fired Webb's thrusters and inserted the space telescope into orbit around the Sun, nearly one million miles from Earth. On July 11, 2022, Webb revealed the deepest and sharpest infrared image of the distant universe so far. Called Webb's first deep field, the image shows galaxy cluster SMACS0723, a cluster teeming with thousands of galaxies, including the faintest objects ever observed in the infrared. Is there life outside of our planet? Is a question that's been asked countless times. Space agencies like NASA have done a great job at discovering new planets, and some of these are similar to Earth, meaning that there's a possibility that it could hold complex life. It's these discoveries that have caused us to explore certain regions more. Interestingly though, we don't have to travel far to find possible life. As scientists and researchers have said that other complex life forms could actually be within our very own solar system. One place that's of particular interest is that of Jupiter's moon Europa. Due to this moon being of high interest, space agencies have said they want to send rovers to their planet, and this is for the sole purpose of finding out if there's life in its vast oceans. Known as the Europa Lander Mission, NASA scientists theorised that the most likely candidate for life to be found in our solar system is expected to be within the icy surface of Europa, due to its expectation of the moon holding vast amounts of water beneath the frozen surface. Data surrounding Europa believe that the moon holds a vast salty ocean of water, similar to our oceans on Earth. This giant ocean is said to span the moon's entire globe. Additionally, due to the frozen surface, scientists expect the conditions of the water to be favourable, as the icy surface acts as a natural atmospheric barrier against radiation, similar to our electromagnetic field, giving life desirable conditions to flourish without its deep oceans. NASA have said they want to send a land rover to the moon in an attempt to penetrate the surface, and collect samples more than four inches deep to better understand the complex chemistry of materials from the ocean. Efforts are already being made by NASA engineers to design a rover similar to the Martian rovers, that will carry miniature laboratories with the lander to analyse samples, but with the addition of an onboard chemical analysis lab, that will be able to hold microscopic cameras for the analysation of bacterial and microbial life. Although the project is still in its conceptual stages, it holds high promise in the search for extraterrestrial life, and seems to be of a growing priority in the coming years. This isn't just a fantasy. A British scientist has come forward and said that it's almost a certainty that Jupiter's moon Europa is home to alien life, but they noted that these creatures could look similar to the octopus that we have here on Earth. The researcher behind the comments is that of Monica Grady, who's currently at the Liverpool Hope University. As mentioned, this vast ocean that can be found underneath Europa is a prime candidate for otherworldly life. It's not just Europa that they suspect life could exist, and they also went on to express how they think that deep caverns and caves on Mars could also be hiding complex life. Monica Grady said the following about the possibility of there being life on Europa. When it comes to the prospects of life beyond Earth, it's almost a racing certainty that there's life beneath the ice on Europa. Elsewhere, if there's going to be life on Mars, it's going to be under the surface of the planet. There you're protected from solar radiation, 
and that means there's the possibility of ice remaining in the pores of the rocks, which could act as a source of water. If there's something on Mars, it's likely to be very small, something like bacteria, but I think we've got a better chance of having slightly higher life forms on Europa, perhaps similar to the intelligence of an octopus. Many have praised the scientists for making these kinds of comments. After all, when it comes to scientists and otherworldly life, we don't normally get an open response such as this one. They normally shy away and say there's a very low chance of there being life on other planets. So many noted that it's a nice change to hear a scientist be open to the idea of there being life on moons such as Europa. The octopus is one of the most recognisable creatures but it's a creature that's shrouded in mystery. Over the years, many different researchers have expressed their interest in these creatures and have said that their makeup is fascinating. Recently, scientists have discovered that octopus, squid and any other cephalopod evolved completely differently from nearly every other organism on Earth. Scientists have always known that these creatures were different, but a recent study has shown that some species are able to edit their RNA sequences and they can do this on demand to adapt to their environment. This has baffled some researchers. When an organism changes, it starts with a genetic mutation. This can be due to the change in the DNA of said animal. These changes are then put into place by the RNA. Going back to the study, it was discovered that a squid has edited over 60% of RNA in its nervous system. This meant the creature was able to adapt to wherever it was at any given moment. It's like us being able to adapt to living in the desert and then in the Antarctic in a matter of seconds. This study also showed researchers that octopus and cuttlefish can do the same thing. Over the years, NASA have made some interesting discoveries, but recently they've come forward and said they found a planet that could potentially host human life. This planet is known as GJ357d, and NASA have said that it's around 31 light years away from our solar system. It orbits in the Goldilocks zone of the GJ357 system, where scientists have speculated that water could form. The reason it gets the name of a super-Earth is because it's over six times the size of Earth. Lisa Koltzinger, who is an astronomy professor, said the following. It's a distance from a star that's not too hot and not too cold. The planet was not expected to be there, so it's like a freebie, because it was discovered in the follow-up. I was on vacation at the time, and I was completely surprised. Although this is an incredible discovery, the planet is too far away. What is told researchers, though, is that there could be other Earth-like planets out there in the vastness of space. Another planet researchers have found interesting is that of Kepler-20f. Although the planet known as Kepler-20f is more than 929 light years away from Earth, meaning that it would take more than 900 years travelling at the speed of light before humanity could even reach it, it's still an ideal location for the establishment of future colonies, and holds more similarities to Earth than Venus. In fact, the planet Kepler-20f is much cooler than Venus, being more than 100 degrees Fahrenheit cooler at its maximum temperature. When the planet was first discovered back in 2011, it was noted as being a rocky planet with the same mass radius and gravity as planet Earth, while also supporting a rich atmosphere believed to be containing vast amounts of water vapour. Unfortunately, this water vapour causes a runaway greenhouse effect that sees the planet at an overall temperature too hot to support life as we know it. However, with a few modifications to the environment, it could very well be a much better twin than Venus, without requiring the extensive needs of terraforming. As the human race develops its technology, we have to look to the horizon to see whether or not this technology is helping us, and whether it's aiding us to the next big thing. With the advent of new robotics and research into artificial intelligence, it appears to be a race against time before we find our inventions slowly smothering us under the weight and responsibilities of progress. In order to combat these changes, 
many scientists and researchers have said we need to look to the stars. So what do you make of the James Webb Telescope? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.